The actions and the laws were discriminatory and oppressive, and for that, I apologize. That's Commissioner of the NYPD, Jimmy O'Neill, 50 years later, an apology tonight from him for the department's actions in 1969 at the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village for a raid that helped spark the national gay rights movement. The apology coming ahead of the World Pride March this month. Political reporter Dave Evans is live in Lower Manhattan with the apology and reaction. Dave? Shadi, because this is the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, also it's the first time that it's World Pride in New York City. They're expecting an extra, an extra 2 million people in Manhattan later on this month. So at 8 o'clock this morning, it came as a surprise that the main organizers of the parade in March later this month put out a tweet demanding that the police department apologize for the events from 1969 at the Stonewall Inn. We didn't think that things would move so quickly, but they did. I think it would be irresponsible of me as we go through World Pride Month not to speak of the events at the Stonewall Inn in June of 1969. At a meeting on making this year's Pride event safe, the police commissioner surprised everyone by apologizing for police actions taken 50 years ago, a raid, police harassment at a gay bar that launched the gay rights movement when gays fought back. I do know what happened should not have happened. The actions taken by the NYPD were wrong plain and simple. The actions and the laws were discriminatory and oppressive, and for that, I apologize. Given we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, it is really important that the NYPD did this today. I'm really grateful for it. Today's event at police headquarters was also worrisome. Today marks the most deadly shooting in American history. Police gave a lengthy presentation how white supremacist groups and jihadists are targeting gay people. That hatred was the reason behind the Pulse nightclub shooting on June 12, 2016. It left 49 dead. I remember the, I remember waking up in the morning after the Pulse shooting and thinking, this is going to change everything about how about the work we do, aside from being, of course, devastated that this had happened in one of our spaces. Since that shooting, police here have moved in heavily armed units and bomb sniffing dogs. Some have complained of tough anti-terrorism efforts in the midst of a festive event. But police call it the new reality in an age of terrorism. I don't want you to leave here scared. And what I want to tell you is we do not see at this moment a specific or credible threat to pride celebrations. But we do need a level of vigilance from everybody that's out there. Also at police headquarters today, police announced the starting of the new Lavender Alliance between gay organizations, gay businesses, and also police for greater protection. As Chief James Waters said this morning, our mission is simple, to protect New York City and all people who live, work, and visit here. And he added, that means all people.